Welcome to the ultimate culinary challenge where friendship and flavor collide. Get ready for Come Dine With Me. Meet our four pairs of friends, each with a passion for cooking, maybe, and a whole lot of humor. They're about to embark on an adventure that puts their skills to the test. Their taste buds to the challenge and their friendship on fire. They can never feed me if they want. They will take turns in hosting dinner parties and trying to impress each other with their culinary skills or lack thereof. They will score each other on their service, presentation, main course and dessert. But will their dishes be a delight or a disaster? Will they rise to the challenge or fall flat on their faces? Join us as we find out who will be crowned the ultimate dinner party champion and who will be left with a recipe for disaster. It's time to come dine with me. Welcome to the first episode of Come Dine With Me. The hosts have started preparing food as they're waiting for their guests to arrive. Starting off this season with a bang is this duo, Lucas and Tyna. At this point, I'm sure they're wondering what they got themselves into. Preparations were underway and guests were starting to arrive. The first people to show up were Front and Aleri. The hosts picked denim as the theme and the guests did not disappoint. Inviting, exciting, exactly. You know, we felt at home, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the second guests arrive are the beautiful Terry and Isabel. Definitely outfit at home with my house. <laughs> so, so where were you coming from? They chased me away. Last but not least, the amazing, the incredible Bali and Pearl. I'm so excited. Now that everyone is here, there's only one thing that's missing. The food. Whilst the hosts are busy preparing food and wrapping things up, this is what the guests have to say. Wow. I'm very hungry. I just feel like it's taking a bit too long and we've been here for quite some time. So personally, this will affect the score in the end. What she said, I'm starving. The rumbling is going to start very soon. My peace, I'm a I'm a peace. They can never feed me if they want. Anything is fine. I saw things in that kitchen, and if those things are not in my stomach in the next 30 minutes, we're going to find somebody. I don't know if this is poor thinking on the whole spot, but trying to abate hunger through playing Scrabble in 30 seconds ain't going to cut it. Just three seconds. African time. I'll be tired. Realistically, when we do that? Be honest. We can start eating this in five minutes. minutes. 45 at most. We can start doing this in the 
hunger aside, let's hear what else the guests have to say. Yeah, no? I yeah. think it's very simple. Yeah, for the first week, I like our simple and mm-hmm. straight to the point, not too much work, you know, easing us into the next yeah. point. I also like how it's very applicable to anyone who yeah. doesn't have denim. Yeah. Right? yeah. Brown denim, blue denim, <laughs> black denim. How would you think is best dressed? Um, personally, I have to give it to my girlfriend. Because can, can you stand up for a talk? Guys, huh? Guys? Wow. Wow, look at that. Wow. It has to be the best dress for me. I think best dress for me is the host. You know? I really love the, I'm sure you guys will see it the corset. Mm-hmm. I like the boots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's a close second. Yeah. That's all I can say. In his eyes, she's my favorite. Yeah. When you when you think of denim, you you definitely think of a denim jacket. You think of a jean. You think of a denim, and that's what I gave today. But I'm not trying to be powerful. I'm trying to be modest and stuff. But like, guys, this is denim. I'm giving. That's what I'm giving. I understood this. I meant. Now, lady, for me, I like the the jumpsuit. The jumpsuit. You know, this looking cute. Yeah. What do you think about the theme, Jenny? I like the theme. I think it was a good start Because everyone has denim. It wasn't very difficult. It could mm-hmm. be different exactly. shades, but people have denim. And I think it's coming together. You know, it's shanganari. Very nice. Denim is every day. Wherever we go. Exactly. Denim. It's now time for our guests to see the menu for the first time and share their thoughts. Yeah, big salad. You still try it? Oh, you'll try for yes. I like the dessert. Yes. Yeah, like it's given. Yes. I like the orange tea. And I'm happy about the making cheese because I'm a cheese girl. And that's it's, it's quite um interesting that Tino put mac and cheese because she doesn't like cheese. Really? So that's very thoughtful to think of us more than her. Big fan of the Oreos. Mm. Oreo, try for Oreo, drink I will inhale Oreo. So this this is the one. This is the one. Yes, I, I, I stand for this. Mm. I like cheese too. Oh yes, amen. Yeah, and it's like... Um, amen. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the main is like a lot. It looks like they put a lot into yeah. this actually. It's giving um pressure. It looks like yeah. we're gonna have to up our game. Yeah. We got rice, macaroni and cheese, roasted vegetables, peach salad, beef stir fry, and for dessert an Oreo truffle. I love macaroni and cheese, so I'm very yeah. excited about that. I'm excited for the beef stir fry. And the Oreo truffle. Mm-hmm. I I like Oreos like I'm glad it's not anything that's like chocolatey yeah. I don't like chocolate like that. Ah, she really does. So that would have affected my scoring. Back on the main, mm-hmm. was it not on the rest? Do you reckon? I don't know. Even if it is, you know, I, I like to see how the rest turned out. I also like the menu. It's very simple. Yeah. Just very straight to the point. Yeah. 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 Greek salad on a winter's day. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Rice. Macaroni and cheese. It's giving carbohydrates and cheese. I wouldn't think Tina would make anything with cheese. cheese. Why? She doesn't. She doesn't like, like cheese. cheese. <laughs> Roasted vegetables. Love that. Green salad. Love it. Beef stir fry. Also, ah, these people are feeding us today. Okay. Dessert. Oreo trifle. It sounds scrum deliciousness. Sounds filling because there's a lot of this variety here. Yeah, there's a lot of carbs. I'm not on a diet, by the way. That's so the thing. Uh, I will eat. You know what it's giving? It's giving buffet because you have macaroni and cheese. You have the beef stir fry. You can put eat with rice. Then you got those vegetables. Like it's giving Sunday plate. Surely after all that talking, the host should be done with cooking now. Well, psych. I'm joking. I'm joking. As you can see, they're now washing the chafing dishes and getting ready to set up the food. It's giving they didn't come here to play. Because not one, not two, not three, not four. But I don't know how many chafing dishes those are. Pardon my negligence. Most of the footage of the food got lost. So you'll only be seeing bits and pieces. I promise in the next episode will be better.
Here's my secret safe the preparation process for you um you know what we had like two weeks to prepare but we only started being serious <laughs> towards the end <laughs> so i don't know we're taking it for granted to some extent i was like this is unbelievable are we really doing this but preparation was very interesting you know going back and forth like what people were saying it was um it was something else but um i liked it it's something that i've never done before i like challenges so i thought like this would be fun and it was fun it's it's a general maybe it's normal so i'm sure they're just like okay yeah let's see and taste i don't know it's not fancy in my opinion uh, i think the preparation process was uh it was okay yeah it wasn't bad it wasn't as bad as i expected yeah for the budget i also think that it was something it was expected yeah we were trying to be realistic but then we're still trying you know the preparation has been interesting like the selection of the menu yeah um like communicating going back and forth with her and on what we should do it's been interesting even the shopping was interesting i hope they really like it personally uh i feel anxious i i hope they like it the footage of the guests enjoying the food got lost at sea which you can see with the energy that they have to be playing these games that they really enjoyed and were sashayed the host went and prepared some desserts Now it's time for us to hear the truth and their rating and out to what extent they were disappointed or impressed. So, how are you? You find me excited. The full <laughs> the service was not the best because the, the hosts, Lucas and Tino, were quite busy in the kitchen, leaving the people to like entertain themselves, low-key abandoning them. Given they were the first, we still didn't know the logistics of things. There could have been a lot of pressure on them. It, it could still have been better and we're still learning so you know out of a five i'd give them a, a three three one five the presentation of the food that was the idea of the buffet mm. and those chefing dishes was not expected amazing. and the food was colorful mm -hmm. i would have preferred bigger plates the food looked good it was amazing it's just giving us pressure at this point like mm. out of a five i'm giving them a five yeah i'll give them a four point five the main meal it was good the mac and cheese, ah. And the beef stuff, like, right? was so good. It was really good. Mm. Yeah, especially the mac and cheese, like, you know. Five, bro, like. I'll give it a five. I really enjoyed the food. It was good food. The chicken could have been better, but yeah. The dessert? At uh, the dessert, the presentation really looked nice in that cup. So I guess my expectations were too high. It was not what I expected it to be. Maybe that's the taste of whipped cream, but it was not. It was too flat, but the Oreos love them so yeah so then it was like i don't like this part but i like that part so it was a mixed mixture of feelings for me i like oreos maybe i didn't really get to appreciate the dessert enough because i was full of it from the main meal 
But overall, I think it, it was good. I like custard. I like Oreos. Whipped cream. I just figured that's what it tastes like. Also, but, and it looked adorable. Like the little cups and the Oreos. Oh yeah, that was cute. I give it a two point five because I like custard and biscuits. I'm gonna give it like a four. What was your highlight of the night? I don't know. I have nothing that I can pinpoint. Like this was my highest moment. It was just like a day. I think for me, I actually don't know if it was caught on camera. Mm. The dancing when people were eating dessert. No, that was nice. I liked. I liked that. I was like to get up and do a little dancey dance. So I think that was my highlight so far. Yeah, we'll see as the night goes. Out of 20, Tari gave them a score of 17.5. And Isabel scored them a 15. How are you guys feeling? Full. Very full. I'm even still eating my dessert. We were the entertainment. We entertained ourselves. <laughs> but but I mean, they said bring 30 seconds. But we had to say, oh, let's play. For me, 3 out of 5. 3 years old. It was good. <laughs> It was a lot to pick up the energy, you know, yeah. from that menu we saw. Mm. There was not chicken on the menu. That was a surprise. I mean, I was mm. happy to see chicken. Mm. Like, Why was there a discrepancy from the menu and the actual meal? I guess it was a surprise. No. But for me, the meal, it's gonna have to be a five out of five. With a surprise, chicken. It has to be a five as well because <laughs> there was a variety of things to pick Such from. Such a variety. That was the best thing. Mm. Like you just um, beef, there was yeah. chicken, yeah, there was and vegetables. Then starch. There were two types of starches. Those vegetables or vegetable. The Greek salad. <laughs> the Greek salad is just Greek salad. They gave but salad. that was <laughs> Greek. The feta was just enough. You know how when you go to a restaurant and you just find one block of feta? There was cheese. <laughs> How do you read the presentation of the food? Mm -hmm. Lucas's Gokos things was eating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's not his Gokos. <laughs> what did he say? He's not saying it is Gokos. He is. said it's not his Gokos. It is Gokos. When did he say it's not? We all know our Gokos, they have nice things, guys. Like, you know that your grandmother, she probably has like nice china and stuff. So, in terms of that, that ate. I wasn't expecting yeah. it. I was thinking we're gonna eat from bowls. Even the pot. They said <laughs> because that's probably all we were gonna do. do. <laughs> a plate. They said we are serving you on fine china. We are serving you on Sunday's plate. <sighs> that was a lot. Today was too much. <clears throat> because it was a buffet sort of situation. I mean I mean there's only much you can do with a buffet. With a buffet, yeah. Okay, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Although I would have liked yeah. a, a silver spoon, because I was I couldn't I couldn't pick in my veggies like oh, it was hard. So now the plastic. Mm. Yeah, mm. now would eat that all of that the whole buffet setting, the whole presentation because really I didn't expect the chefing dishes and of course the highlighters. <laughs> so I would rate them four. I was also thinking of four, but I don't really have a reason why they don't have the one. Why don't they have that one? The fork. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> for the dessert. I like the, they mixed two textures, which mm. is uh, something great you can do with the dessert. Because dessert that is one texture is not eat. Interesting. Yeah, because they put don't crunchy. It, it was crunchy. Because of the Oreos. I don't know if those are Oreos or I don't know what they put, but mm -hmm. it was crunchy. Mm -hmm. And then you had the, I don't know if that was custard, and the whipped cream, oh, the sugar. Oh, we're complementing each other like dessert that is not too sweet but sweet like you you get sweet and you get semi-sweet mm. that will balance out the, the sweet. sweets and that's what they did yeah it's gonna have to be a five because i was when they said oreo trifle we read it on the menu yeah? when we read it i said okay it's gonna be something you know like moussey and then they just they even put custard guys they said oreos they took out the white part of the oreo Guys, that was Ooh, yummy. Is that white part? The only white part you're gonna have is cream. It's five out of five for me. Yeah. Okay, what was the highlight of the night? Oh. Having my expectations over reached. That was a very big highlight. So shout out to Team mm. One. Mm. What do you call them? Lutino. <laughs> Lutino <laughs> ate it up. They said we're gonna make a meal and you guys are gonna us. eat it and <laughs> leave no crumbs. I know he's going to see this, but Lucas, <laughs> Lucas? I'm having my doubts, oh. <laughs> but he came through like the earphone he put in 
For me, Lucas does. I, I'm impressed. He shot for the stars, guys. I know. I don't know what happened behind the scenes. Whether it was fighting with Tino, I don't know. But today we can't see any conflict. Mm -hmm. the, the the production of today, the fruits of today, it's like nothing was ever hard. We thought it wasn't going to be as good as this. You know what I'm saying? Mm, no pressure. For you us. know what I mean, guys? Like we thought, but they just they made us embarrassed. The total score from Bali and Pearl was a whopping 17 each. Let's hear what the final team has to say. You know, we look tired. No, but that's just the show of like, it's been a good night. It's been fun. Yeah. It's been very fun. It's been... 30 seconds was, yeah, intense. We didn't even finish. I've been dancing, you know. Yeah. It's been fun. It's, it's been, been a really good, good first, um, episode yeah the bar has been set here and mm. it's high especially it's considering high. we're next it's wild yeah yeah but people aren't playing yeah no the things that they came they showed up mm. they pulled all the stops it's nice to know that they, they took it seriously mm. so i think that will translate to everyone else that they'll take this process very seriously mm. service actually we, there was nothing to do you know we kind of had to entertain ourselves mm. um you know, so I'll, I'll give the that mm, a two point three. Read them like a three point five again. So we didn't have snacks, uh -huh. drinks we had to provide on our own. You know. But solely because like it was the first time, you know, they set a benchmark. The logistics were not in place, but they still managed to like you know successfully like pull it off. Nevertheless, there were some hiccups. We were hungry for quite some time. Very long. But it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait, it really was. So presentation now. I mean I dished up for myself. Facts, I didn't enjoy that. So I will say a four. Just because they had the food in the what are those things? Ah, I don't know. Serving trays, eh? Those serving trays, the ones you see at funerals, it was very fancy. <laughs> Where did these medical students get this? Nah, so facts. I was like impressed by that. Facts, 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 facts. facts. I will give them a three point five. Mm -hmm. Solely because one of the partners had an advantage. They're from here. They have resources that us we don't have as foreigners exactly the sheer fact that like he could think to bring that kind of stuff mm. nah that was great that was great the main wow i love the options aha uh -huh. there were some surprises that went on the menu like the chicken for example mm -hmm. you have to be honest the chicken the chicken was a little bit dry just a little bit on the dry side a little bit dry yeah but like apart from that everything else excellent the rice was <laughs> the rice was good. It was it's hard to cook rice for a large number of people and, and get, get it right. right. Yeah, and also like just like the presentation, there was some vegetables in there. Mm -hmm. There was like there was even parsley leaves. Mm -hmm. <gasps> great stuff. Um, Macaroni, mm, favorite part. I had great. seconds. Yeah. There's nothing left. You can check. There's nothing. <laughs> left. I think that's indicative of how much people enjoyed it. So I'll mm. give it a three point five. Yeah. Out of five. The stir fry also was really good. Yeah. The beef stir fry, I think. Three point eight. Sorry, three point eight. I think I'll give them a four. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the food, the salad, the drinks. Shall we brought them ourselves? Uh, what about the dessert? Initially, I wasn't feeling it like that, like that. But then towards the end, when I like, when I mixed it, I was like, okay, this is nice. Mm -hmm. So I'll give it a. 2.5 I'm not the biggest fan of biscuits It was, yeah, no I didn't, I didn't enjoy it I, didn't, I think it's gonna be a 1.5 from me yeah. I want to change my score, I'll change but, it to a 3 okay. Not because of your low score, just because towards the end I was enjoying it While I was dancing, I was like, oh, this is actually nice I like that the custard layer Yeah That was nice, that was And like, the sheer fact that they went out of their way to get whipped cream Yo. Yeah, so like well, that was guys. good, but like it, it, it was biscuits. I enjoy biscuits. What was the highlight of the night? The games. The dancing at the end. I was enjoying myself just now. I enjoyed the games. Okay, that would do it. That gives them the total of 13 from France and 12.6 from Nalit. Giving them the grand total of 91.6. Let's check in with the host, find out if what they have to say for themselves is I'm correlating happy. with I'm what the guests were done. saying about I'm happy with that. Yeah, same. I mean, yeah, it was really stressful. Building up to this was uh, and was hard quite work. something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now we can show and, and eat other people's food. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just dress up and eat. Yeah. How do you eat your main meal? Mm. Give it a four point five. I feel mm. like I'd give it 
a three. Yeah. Why? Just a humble three. And how do you rate your dessert? Mm. Ah, one. I feel like the dessert, honestly, it wasn't giving. It me. wasn't. What, it was, what were we expecting? It's not yeah. work. Ah, so what? that part may have let us down, and uh, even with the votes, we'll see. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the dessert wasn't our strongest part. Just yeah, we are. Okay, why do you feel like this was your strongest? The mac and cheese, because yeah, people talk people, about people it. People talk about the mac and cheese. Yes. Honestly, I like the chicken. I also like yeah, the chicken. Yeah, I like the chicken. Yeah. And the chicken was a little bit dry. Yes. The beef strips. Yeah. yeah. Do you get your service? In terms of what? Of hospitality. 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 Uh, for me too. I feel like for majority of the time we had to be cooking. Yes. Yeah, so. so but then for the moments that we were there, I feel like we were engaged. Or we tried to. Yeah. yeah. And for the fact that we're all friends, it made it already easier to connect. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say 2.5. What was the highlight of the night? It was hearing people's comments. They weren't supposed to comment when we were eating, but yeah. people couldn't contain it's like, the excitement. It was just I was like, nice. now we, no. hit, we hit it in the head. Yeah. People were just like, okay, you're going all out and everything. I was like, that's what we do, baby. That's all we do. Mm, and the million dollar question where did you get the shopping dishes? People want to know. A magician never reviews. Trade secrets. Yes. Yeah. We keep this to ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And a few words from the hosts. Thank you guys for showing up, showing out, and being a lovely kiss. I like hosting you guys. Mm. You're a vibe, and um, thank you for your comments and everything. I haven't heard anything. Please don't worry. I'll try not to listen to you, so that's why I need to. Go ahead, let's keep it like that. That's it for the first episode of Come Down With Me International Unitless Edition. Stay tuned for the next episode dropping next week, same time, same place, baby. And that's on Come Down With Me first episode. That's a wrap, baby. See you next time. We out.